Rugger's brain. Rugger is the best. He loves new adventures and tackling a new quest. He's Rugger. Last week on Rugger Tales, Rugger discovered the world of Te Papa and was fascinated by all the awesome displays. But there was one exhibit in particular that for Rugger was pure gold. For within the Ruggerland display, Rugger found the fourth magic ball. The magic ball of confidence. Unfortunately, he also found three mountain men of Mulu who were pretending to be dummies. Well, statues. They don't need to pretend to be dummies. Grab the rugby. I want that magic ball! But it was too late. Rugger was already holding the ball above his head and was channeling the confidence of famous All Blacks into his little yellow body. Oh, what's he doing, boss? I don't know, but I don't like it. Get him! Rugger stood his ground. He didn't take a step back. He didn't even look scared. Rugger spoke. Oh, please. What's this? You may be big, green and scary looking, but I'm not scared of you. In fact, you guys make me laugh. Ha ha ha! Huddly ah ha! Diddly diddly diddly! Not scared, eh? Let's huddle. So what now, boss? We could chop him up into little bits and put him in a big pot and make some rugby soup. No, it's kids' TV. They never allow it. We could set him on fire and have a rugby barbecue. Nah, same deal. It's kids' TV. Never allow it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing I'd like more than to see that meddling rugby served up on a platter. But we have to come up with something really clever, really smart. What about a wedgie? Yeah, a massive wedgie. Yep, I think that's it. Wedgie it is, lads. So, Rugger, not scared, eh? Well, maybe an atomic wedgie will change your mind. Oh, please, said Rugger. Is that the best you three can do? I only have one magic ball left to find, and all you can come up with is an atomic wedgie. OK, then. We don't want to play this game anymore. Game over. What? Asked Rugger. Let's just stop the show right now. Just turn that thing off, Brian. I'm done. Shut it off. We're over. Done. Finished. Finito. Cut. Hang on, hang on, said Rugger. How will any of us get home if the story stops now? You mean we'd be stuck into Papa forever? Apparently, said Rugger. <laughs> but boss, I want to go home. I want to be back in my own comfy bed. Who's going to give Pookie hugs? Who's Pookie? Good grief. OK, roll camera, let's finish the show. I'm afraid there's only one thing left to do. Even I didn't want to bring this out. But I'm afraid you've left me no choice, young Rugger. Oh my, he's got to do it! Do what? Thought Rugger, and might I say, the narrator. It's time to unleash a trio tickle! A trio tickle, yelp Rugger! Not the dreaded trio tickle! No! And before anyone could answer Rugger, Rugger ran. No! Rugger continued to cry as he ran out of the papa and back into the city. Oh, finally Rugger stopped. A little rugby out of a little breath, said the hooded knight. I'm, I'm terrified, Puff Rugger. Have you ever had a trio tickle? Um, nope. But it's kind of hard to tickle a hologram, cuz. Did you find what you were looking for into Papa? I, I found the fourth magic ball, so only one more to go, Rugger Puff. Well, don't look at me, Rugger, cuz I'm all out of clues. So, you're a clueless hooded knight, asked Rugger. That's not funny, cuz. You should stick to finding balls. I'll do the funny stuff. So what am I to do, asked Rugger? I've run out of places to look. Well, bro, listen to this piece of wisdom. Sometimes the thing you are looking for will come to you when you're just not looking. Ladies. And with that, the hooded knight was gone. <sighs> well, that's very true. Rugger pointed out to the class. What do you mean what you're looking for will come to you when you're not looking? Well, 
Those mountain men sure are unfit. And ugly and real ugly. Tune in to next week's exciting Rugger Tales. And remember, don't be disappointed if you fail. It's trying your hardest that really counts. He's Rugger.